Welcome back dear viewer to some more Warzone Wamblings. It's your boy and you can see today I'm just playing with Mikey and Adam. We were missing Shane. I didn't record the other night but we did get a couple of wins. Adam was recording so he's going to try and get that footage to me. But enough of that. Let's chat about something that I'm going to be doing over the course of when Insidious Valor is in its pre-sale period. And as much as I have actually plotted out book four, I'm also working on the prequels as well. For anyone who's ever taking part in a pre-sale event of my books you know that everyone who pre-orders a copy of my book um, whichever book it was would have got some exclusive content of the life at the beginning of the war it takes place after a flashback scene in the first book and it extends from there it's the day the war started so i've done that for my first two books i'm going to do it again for insidious fella but i'm going to give a snippet from another prequel and this prequel is going to be a build up to a antagonist or yeah it's going to be an antagonist it's not going to be an anti-hero someone who would eventually become a villain in my books um it's someone a character that i've actually referenced in all three books and no one has cottoned on to it yet saying who is this character and why have you brought him up in all three books it's clearly a he um i've referenced them by their media name not their actual full name so this character has a bit of folklore or kind of mystique about them already because they're already quite famous in the world uh, for the things that they've done before the war started and that's what this prequel snippet is going to be about it made two or three chapters long and when i introduce this character i know a lot of people are going to lose their minds because this is something that is this character the prequels for him are going to be a build-up i was kind of thinking of doing an antagonist somewhere along the lines of you know, I wanted that sort of draw effect that, you know, Ramsey Bolton, Negan, Homelander, all of these great villains actually have. Even if you look at Hannibal Lecter, uh, the two best variations, in my opinion, are the TV show and the original movies. Although I have seen Manhunter once. Um, I can't remember who played Hannibal Lecter in that, but a lot of the book fans say that is an accurate description. And I'm not going to... Um, disagree with that at all um, I've never read the book so I can't honestly say whether I think that or not um, I just know that the Anthony Hopkins and Mads Mikkelsen versions just stuck for me you know they're drawn to the screen and when I introduced this villain as well because I've wanted to play them that they could be a sort of comedy element and that you sort of root for them but I don't think I can now that particularly with the world of the, the world that my books are set in, obviously the post-apocalyptic post stuff, people are doing mad stuff already. But I need this person to be doing it before the world falls to shit. And he's going to have an interaction with Ryan in the prequels without Ryan knowing who he is. So when it comes to later on, those two meet up, it will be revealed that this person was this character the whole time. And that's going to be a big moment for my fans knowing... Holy, holy shit you've referenced this character it's now coming to fruition and he was also indirectly involved in ryan's life at some point which i know will i know that i know that a lot of my fans will smile at that i'm not i'm still not gonna tell anyone who this character is until i do this snippet for the pre pre-order exclusive content for insidious fella well, I will mention them by name. Some of my beta readers might have clocked on because I was going to introduce this character at the end of Disease Intentions. And my beta readers caught whiff of a version that I was going to release, but I decided to take it out because it's way too early to introduce this character yet. It makes sense for me now to introduce this character after book five when this part of the series involving Admiral Connor, the Termites and Project Zodiac is done and finished um i can't or maybe i could introduce him halfway through and have that extra third party villain oh my voice just went really fucking t stereotypically english then <laughs> i don't know what's happened to me but i'm actually enjoying talking like this um to be honest when i'm doing these blogs the second i press record my lungs go you know what let's send a kilo of phlegm up to daniel's throat but now that I've taken a step back and I'm just relaxing, enjoying this YouTube, actually, I feel like I'm talking more like myself. There might be a bit more errs and buts and a couple of second pauses, but I'm actually feeling more like myself and I feel like I can get my point across better. But getting back to the point with this character, I nearly said their name then. 
it's been fun because I've already taken a photo of this character and put it on my Instagram saying, okay, fans of the taste beneath and disease and tension, who is this? And no one could figure it out. No one could figure it out. Um, as I said, I've referenced this character. I've referenced him by his media name, um, what the newspapers and TV stations call this person and not by their actual character name. But I'm playing around now because that prequel is going to be separate to the original prequel I'm going to do with the two parts I've already written and sent out as pre-order exclusive content. Yeah, it's um, it's going to be a tricky one, but I'm really enjoying it because it's its own sort of separate story and lore. And when I build up this character in the prequels to then have them come into the world, which obviously Ryan's in, is I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited for that because it's going to be quite a moral dilemma for Ryan as well because I think Ryan would actually agree or he as he has mentioned a couple of times he does actually agree with what this person does because this person doesn't consider laws fallible because they're written by man um, he considers the stuff he does okay because it's morally acceptable an eye for an eye a tooth for a tooth um, inflicting the same kind of punishment on you know evil people that they've done to others I'm probably giving away who this character is now if you've read my books. Like, the name is quite obvious. And I think it's going to play out something a little bit along the lines of the TV show Dexter and maybe Saw. But I don't think I'm going to do full-on traps and games. But that's where I am with the prequels at the moment. I'm going to be introducing the villain very, very soon. Um, yeah, this was just a short video. Hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, please subscribe. Um, if you like this video, please leave a cheeky like. And I'll be speaking to you guys again on Sunday about a topic I don't want to talk about. Much love. Take care. Peace.